Hello my crafty friends. So today I am going to be showing you how to make this cute little um, ephemera holder. Um, I've shown you something similar before uh, but this one I kind of did something different over the holidays and many of you wanted to see how I had put it together. So I'm going to show you what I did. We'll make one together and then um, I'll show you kind of the areas of where I added some of the embellishments. So the first thing you'll see, I'll, I'll start with the back actually. Um, you can see here that it's got lots of uh, layering. You take this little piece of ephemera out and then you lift that up and it's a little envelope on the back. And this is all going to be made with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, plus of course adding all your ephemera, etc. that you would like to add to it. I am using a lot of simple stories right now because I happen to find um, a few uh, collections that I had and some that I received from friends. So you'll be seeing that a lot. So for example, this happens to be one of the little journaling cards from one of the sets. So here what I did is I added my um, latest digital, the Valentine's digital. I don't have a lot of Valentine's ephemera, so I kind of had to make my own papers. That's why I did the digital, but I also uh, need to kind of find more ephemera. So I, you know, I kind of made something that looked similar, I would say, to Valentine's theme. Um, so here I just added the little Let's Get Crafty from one of the um, Simple Story sets. And, oh, I don't know if I showed you the front there. This says Dream, and I just kind of collaged a bunch of little pieces, put them all together from some of the Simple Stories set. So when you flip it over, this is the fun part. Um, again, on the front, I added um, just some ephemera from Simple Stories. I kind of layered a few pieces again. And then when you open this up, you've got some other additional ephemera pieces again from Simple Story sets. All this here, I just kind of made little uh, tuck spots and everything else to go with this uh, holder here. And then you open it up again. And this is the part where I'm going to show you just the different ways that you can make yours, um, you know, a little different if you wanted to. So on the back here, we have a journaling card. Again, simple stories. I'm just loving these collections. So um, here I've got some pieces from my own uh, paper collection, the Valentine's themed one. The envelope I added, um, you know, just like a little journaling spot. And then we'll slide this up a little bit so you can kind of see what I've done at the bottom. And here we've got a little tuck spot. It says, this is me. And again, these are all pieces, ephemera pieces from the Simple Stories collections. Um, the pocket here, I really like this one. And uh, for the pocket, like I said, I'll show you how to make um, this, uh, this kind of whole thing here. Um, I wanted something that when you flip it over, you could kind of see on the back as well. So that's what I've got that there. And then here we've got another little journaling card, um, you know, some ephemera from Simple Stories. And then the pocket itself, I made it out of my own printable. And then the other little pieces here as well are from my printable. Um, so here, this little tuck spot, as you can see there, it's super adorable. Again, I just used a uh, oh my gosh, what are these called? A die cut. Um, I will link this below. I think it's from In Love Arts, but I am not sure. I will link the dies that I have used to put some of the pieces together as well. So for example, I've got this little envelope and then I've got the larger envelope right here and then that one's the one that i made that so i'll just link those below in case you're interested in any of these pieces so i know sometimes you ask and i forget to let you know all right so back to this um so i've got just the, the pocket that has some ephemera again from simple stories collections i don't have a lot of their sets either so it was kind of nice to play with it a little bit and combine it you know in this um in this project so here the little envelope i just tucked in a little ephemera this um the whole thought of this is that you could load it up with you know send it to your friends i like that this says time to reset that's simple stories again i just added one of those little doilies i recently showed you um i believe this is from Cocorosa studio and i recently showed you um a whole unboxing of that i love these little stickers they're also from the simple stories collections and so I added a couple of pieces there. 
and then the back you've got another little tuck spot you can add a lot of ephemera in there and i just really really love how this came out so you can see there's just so many places that you can add pockets and tuck spots and just you know different ways you can play with it it is made with one sheet of 12 by 12 and i almost forgot to show you there is actually as well and you'll see this when we put it together an additional side pocket and i always forget which side it's on <laughs> let's find the pocket i believe it's on this side so here we are i'm going to tuck this in just so that you can see that there is a pocket in the center so if you wanted to make a large piece of ephemera to go in here as well um, the one difference that I'll show you at the end um, that is not here is just a little a couple little things that we can add to it um, to add even more pockets if you wanted to so it could just be loaded up with different areas to put tuck spots and that kind of thing but um, yeah, let's make one together. I hope that um, you guys enjoy this. As always, um, please remember if you enjoy the video, like, comment below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I really appreciate your support with my shop and my channel. So I will have my shop linked below as well. And uh, let's get started. I hope you enjoy making one. And remember to watch to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a different option on how to add more pockets, which I think you're going to love. So let me get started showing you how to make this one and um, we'll go from there. So I'm using single sided 12 by 12 paper. If you have double sided, then, you know, this will be a lot easier for you to make uh, because you don't have to cover up the white unless you want to. Uh, so you, you know, depending on the way your paper faces, um, I'm going to score this one at first on the six inch mark, and then I'm turning it over once and then scoring at four and a half. And then I'll score at nine. And that's all the score lines you're going to need. So again, keep an eye on the paper, the way your paper faces the design and then um, kind of go with that. I always say use like a scrap piece of paper, something that you're not too, you know, keen on so that when you try your first one, then, you know, any little tweaks and stuff, you can kind of work them out. So right now I'm just folding everything on the lines just to have some nice crisp lines. And you'll see here, depending on your paper as well, like mine started to tear a little bit there on the top. It's fine. I like it because it gives it a little bit of, um, you know, kind of texture. If I wanted to go ahead and kind of make the rest of the paper that way, then it would look nice as well. So the top part here, we're just going to be cutting between the score lines. And so this was um, the part where we did the last score at the nine inch mark. Okay, so you can kind of see how they start to look like envelope flaps, if you kind of, you know, look at it this way. And then the bottom part will also cut between the score lines as well. And then this just gives you a, like, a little bit nicer of a finish, um, design and when you fold your paper it's not going to kind of bulk in some areas and pop out in others if you know what I mean like when you fold paper it doesn't line up but this way it will so you can kind of see I think I'm just going to clean this up a little bit here just so that we have a nice finished design okay so we're going to make our first pocket and what you need to do is flip your paper to the back and then I'll be adding glue to the top and bottom here and you'll see what I'm talking about. This will end up making a side pocket um, with this um, envelope ephemera holder. I always have a hard time deciding what to call these things because as I'm coming up with them I'm thinking well you know it, it can hold ephemera but it has so much flip outs and pockets and tuck spots etc. Okay, so we're basically just attaching these two together. So you essentially end up with like two faux envelopes on either side, okay? And then you've got a side pocket to um, in the middle basically of what we did. So now I'm just going to cut a little bit off this bottom flap and then the top flap. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So I just cut off a little bit from the top and this would be like the envelope flap 
And then I'm cutting a little bit off this bottom here as well because I kind of want you to see that it is an envelope on this side. Okay, so I'm just taking that off and I'm just eyeballing it. You can cut this off or leave it, it's up to you. So I end up with two little strips and then you can see now when I glue the sides together, so I'm just adding glue to two sides, this now becomes a little envelope on the one side. Okay, so we've got an envelope design on this side. And then the other side is where it kind of gets to be a little fun. Now I'm just going to round off my corners here because sometimes it's just, it's nicer this way. You don't have to do that again. And I, again, I'm going to show you an alternative at the end where you may not need to do that because then you kind of end up with a lot more space at the top. So now we flip to the other side and if you have double-sided paper, then you, you know you don't have to do this on this side, but I'm taking some of my design paper and some scrapbook paper that I have, and I'll just be covering up the white parts of this side of the flip out envelope. And so you just measure it to size. Um, it's pretty much um, you know an easy to do because this, the um, measurements are around the same with um, all the flips and flaps. And I'm just showing you here, I'm using my latest Valentine themed paper. And I'll just be cutting it up to make also uh, two other pieces, which I'm going to show you what to do with. So this would be like uh, the envelope, the little envelope that we add inside, like as a little tuck spot. And then the other strip that I cut out, it's about three and a half inches uh, tall. And I kept it, you know, the length of the eight and a half by 11 sheet. So it's like eight and a half, uh, wide basically or long I'll show you in a minute okay so I'm just adding uh, the basically the backing paper um, to cover up the white spots and again at the end I'm going to show you a different version of this which I think you're going to love so I'm just making sure that it adheres properly because I want to, um, you know, cover up the white spots. And again, you don't have to do this, but I think sometimes it just looks nice, especially if you have extra pieces of paper that you can use in the projects. And once you finish covering, covering up your, you know, white parts of your paper, and again, that's if you choose to do so, then we can start to add the flip outs and pockets and tuck spots etc so for this side i just uh, die cut a, an envelope um, i do have a die cut i think this is from in love arts i will try to link um, everything below like die cuts that i have used etc because i know sometimes some of you are interested and want to know what i've used and I'm just making sure that I've got this little envelope glued down. And so again, you know, if you wanted to add other things to the inside of your little um, flip down here, then that's uh, something you could do. I'm trying to just kind of clear out the little, little uh, holes that come out of the little die here. I should use my little pokey tool, but I haven't done that right now. So I'm deciding where I want to add the tuck spot of the envelope. And I wanted to leave the love on the left side. So I'm just adding glue to two sides of the envelope here because then the back of the envelope basically becomes a little tuck spot. And then you've got the pocket of the envelope to work with. So now here we've just made two separate little areas where you can add ephemera, a little note, you know, something to send to one of your friends. Um, and then this, of course, uh, can flip down if you wanted to, but I like to leave it open just to show what I'm going to tuck in it. Now, this is the other piece that we are using. I will I will put measurements here on the screen. Um, we're basically folding this in half, and this is going to be our flip out pocket. I am using one of my digitals for this. And again, I have so much of it right now because I was you know, printing it out when I was making the videos to show you um, what I had made, and I've got some leftovers. So of course, I'm going to be using those up right now. Um, I'm going to just fold this over. I could use a scoreboard, but not everybody has a scoreboard. So I'm just going to show you here with the, uh, with quickly with my ruler. It's going to continue to fold these and make um, essentially like the little hinge that's going to um, help me flip this piece back and forth on my page. And this is where you can decide, you know, which side of your um, flap you want to add this to. Uh, so as I fold these, oh my gosh, so we are back down to um, 
lockdown of some areas where I am, Ontario, Canada. Um, restaurants are closed for dining and eating. And, um, you know, there's lots of um, places that we're limited to, again, to, um, you know, kind of going with a lot of people, that sort of thing. And oh, I've seen so many things on TikTok that just make fun of how this is all being handled and how confusing it gets, um, you know, week to week, day to day. So I hope that you're all just having a better time of this than we are and, you know, keeping yourselves and your family and friends safe and healthy. Um, of course, um, you know, trying to do what you can. Um, but it's just, I think people are just so frustrated right now. And I'm hoping that, uh, that uh, you know, you find a little bit of escape and inspiration from us creators on YouTube to just kind of get your mind onto something else because it is uh, definitely um, too much right now. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I've just basically glued top and bottom and then the little flap that we will be using. As you saw, I did cut out a little notch at the top to show that it is a pocket. And I'm just adding glue to uh, what I'll be attaching to my bottom flap of my uh, my little envelope design here. And we'll just be attaching that. Now I've made a few different um, videos showing you how to make these kind of different, um, you know, envelope snail mail ideas. I'll link uh, those below. Okay, so we have our little um, pockets and flip out um, done. And then of course we've got our other side that has the little envelope pocket. And then of course the center one that we made when we kind of attached this together. Um, I think now I'm just going to round off some of the corners. You know, sometimes that looks kind of good. And then we'll add a couple more pieces to have more little pockets and places to um, add ephemera. So right now I'm just going to round those off hope you're all having a lovely weekend i again am trying to catch up and it just seems to take longer and longer the more i try to do it but um, of course i enjoy the process and i'm just really trying to take my time and not rush through it um you know i'll get to it when i get to it so i hope you guys are all patient as i edit things and get things ready to share with you again all right, so the next thing we're going to do is I'll be adding a couple more, um, as I mentioned, little pockets and tuck spots. These are, um, you know, pieces that I made using die cuts. Again, I will be trying to link these below. I think I remember um, where they're from, but I will try and link them below as well. I do have coupon codes for some of the um, places that I have an affiliation with. Um, and again, that doesn't cost you anything extra if you're going to buy anyways. It just, you know, gives us like pennies here and there um, for you clicking on our links. So I will link those below. So I'm just adding a little uh, pocket on this side. And of course, I'm struggling a little bit with my glue. I, um, because I'm not going out as much right now, I, I actually don't really have a lot of Valentine themed ephemera. So I'm trying to figure out ways to kind of make some because I'm also not planning on going out, um, you know, a lot right now, especially that um, we're sort of back in a semi lockdown and, you know, things like, you know, purchasing um, lovely pieces of uh, embellishments and stuff. I kind of have to not prioritize right now, even though I would love to. Um, so um, yeah, I just, I'm looking forward to, you know, being able to go back out and maybe get some puffy stickers or just things that I could add to Valentine themed uh, projects. This is actually, I think my first year actually making Valentine's themed pieces. I just, uh, I didn't really get into it before, but for some reason this year, I guess I needed the, you know, the pinks and the reds and just the, um, the, um, lovely embellishments and that kind of stuff. I, I needed to see that and I kind of wanted to create with those themes as well. I don't know if you are Valentine's Day crafters, if you enjoy it, um, but I'm really starting to um, you know, just really like coming up with ideas for these projects. 
Okay, so you've seen that I've added these two little pieces here and again, just little extra places to tuck, um, you know, ephemera and more pockets. The These two pieces, of course, they can be added to, um, you know, any part of the project as uh, belly bands or side pockets or tuck spots. I actually will be using them in this project. You have seen them already, how I've used them and I've added, you know, maybe like a little sticker here and there. Um, to give it a little bit of decoration um, you know it could be a belly band at the top of your little flap like just there's so many options okay so you've seen just all the different areas where we can add little things um, you know pockets uh, tuck spots here you can add something on the front of the envelope you can do the same to the back if you wanted to um, but you saw how I showed you at the beginning how I kind of embellished and where everything was all right let me show you the second version to this which I think is really fun so the initial one we had uh, I kind of cut the flaps a little bit on one side um, the first change I made here is I made the pocket on the kind of in between the two envelopes and not on the side how we had made it on this one so you can see here we made the first pocket on the side this one I kept it to the top of course it's just how you glue it and that's how you're going to get that part and then the next part is when you're adding your paper to cover the white spot leave little sections for pockets so you can see here I've got a pocket here I've got a pocket here which will come out <laughs> And then I've made another pocket at the bottom. And so then here you just end up, you know, still you can add the additional pieces that we added to this one, the envelopes, the flaps, etc. You just have to kind of decide which side of your little envelope you're going to be putting them on. And then that's where you would kind of have your pocket. So I think this is such a cool version because it just gives you more places to kind of hide ephemera or you know put little surprises into your friends or family when you're sending this okay and then the next thing which i am super excited about to show you i do have a tutorial showing you how i made something um, like it before um, and it was actually um, inspiration from uh, lynette that i had when that happened um, and i did have a video i'll have that tutorial linked below so you can see what i'm talking about but um, when you use the other side, instead of uh, making the envelope how we had done it before, we can do the accordion pockets. So I thought this was super cool because um, depending on how many po you know pockets you add, you can have a lot more places to put things. So I fit a whole piece of ephemera here from Simple Stories. Um, you can see how much room you have. I do have, like I said, the tutorial. I will link that below. Um, you could make another pocket on this side as well. So you can have unlimited places to add things and hide things. And I just really, really love how it came out. Okay, my friends, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Remember to check out my playlists for many other tutorials and ideas that I have. Thanks so much for your support. Remember to hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. That really helps me, even if it's just like an emoji saying, you know, a little happy face or a heart. I really appreciate it. Um, like the video, of course. Uh, check out my shop. Support the artists that I feature as well. We all appreciate your support. And uh, um, let me know which one you are going to be making. The first version, second version, or both. Because I think I'm just going to keep going. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.